The next step in this new preset workflow is to turn a preset into a recipe. So you remember the preset we created here, the universal dimmer preset, including matrix information. First of all, we use the swipey edit setting to go to the new and reworked preset editor. So you can find all the information about your preset, which data is stored, which matrix are used directly in the first row here. So you see the stored data is universal, for example. You can see the phase is from 0 through 360, and we used wings of 2. But next to this, we can also find the matrix as a graphical representation here. So at the end, for the user, the workflow is always the same, using the matrix overlay as a live editor, or using this edit settings from a preset as a kind of offline editor. You will find all the information in there and you can change your preset accordingly. Now we got a new button in this preset editor, which says turn into recipe. So we found a new way in version 1.7 to transfer all of this information stored in the preset, including the values and the matrix settings, to turn it directly into a recipe. So let's press the button, turn into recipe, and you will see that it looks quite similar. So we will find a row here in as well. You will see the stored data is universal. You will see that it's a recipe line with the matrix information. But now the advantage is that we can create some more recipe lines, of course, to create more complex objects inside our presets. So let's take a new recipe line here. And by default, you will see that this recipe line is doing exactly the same as the first recipe line. Why does it help us? We close the editor and we select our spots, for example. We go into the preset again, say edit settings, and for the first recipe line, we say take selection, a new button you can find here at the bottom right corner. So we take the selection for the first recipe line here. We close the editor again and we take a different fixture selection, so like our LED tiles, for example. We go to that preset again, and now for the second recipe line, we say take selection as well. And now we can combine these two recipe lines to a more complex phases. So we can combine different fixture selections on the one hand, or we can combine different attributes, so as a kind of multi-line effect workflow. In this case, we say for recipe line number two with our LED tiles, we want to have a phase of 0 through 90, for example, and we don't want to have wings. So we say no wings. Let's see where we end up. So we clear the selection here. You can see we created a selective dimmer preset, including more steps, of course, because it's our running phaser. And you can see exactly what we created, the spots will run that dimmer effect with two wings in the phase of 0 through 360. And our LED tiles do the same thing, but with a phase of 90 degrees and just from the left to the right. So the button Turn into Recipe will help us to transfer preset values, including a matrix, directly to a recipe to help us to create more complex objects which can combine different fixture selections or different attributes to a more complex running phaser.